the ZenBook Duo. It's one of a kind computing device in the world of laptops and is definitely something that's gonna stick around. But it does come with a price tag and it may not be for everybody. So if you're here to find out if it is for you, stick around and enjoy. Number one, productivity. Now we know that productivity can increase with multiple displays around you, especially under the recent work from home scenarios. But you can't always carry around two displays with you. And that's where the ZenBook Duo comes really handy. For example, look at my setup over here. I've got music playing in the background. Then I've got Slack, which I use for office communication. That's open on the left and I can just talk to people, you know, spontaneously. And then I've got Google Slides open for work. Or let's say I'm doing some research and I'm watching a YouTube video where I'm getting some pointers and some inspiration from. And while I look at them, I can make notes. So I'm making notes on Notion and you can see how easy this can really get. And if you don't want to use multiple windows, you can use this as an extended screen and you can just view the whole thing. And Windows just treats it like a second monitor. So just think of it as a secondary monitor that's integrated with the laptop. That's pretty cool. You can also create preset combinations. So just with one tap, you can get your desired combination and layout of apps and windows to get you started. And if you still need to plug in another display, you can do so using the HDMI ports or the Type-C Thunderbolt ports. FYI, you do get the regular USB port on the right side, so that's great. Now, if you're a creator, the screen pad gives you more touch controls for specific apps like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and Lightroom. Obviously, you can customize these controls places what you use, but if you don't find these controls friendly enough, you can still use the app, but in an extended screen mode. So you can use the entire screen for video playback and the screen pad plus at bottom for timeline management. And now let's talk about performance. And no matter which variant you get, starting with the most base variant, the performance on this thing is great. The base variant ships with 11th gen Core i5 processor with 8 gigs of RAM and integrated Iris Xe graphics and can go all the way up to 11th gen Core i7 processor with 32 gigs of RAM, 1 TB storage and Nvidia GeForce MX450 graphics card. But specifications aside, if you're not doing anything that's, you know, multi-layered video editing or something that's graphically very complex or something that requires intense computational work, this laptop will not fail you. I mean, not for at least five years easy. So, you know, launching apps, for example, Premiere Pro that I'm just launching right in front of you, it was very quick. And even with Excel, Word and PowerPoint, they would open in a snap. And I was really impressed to see that it could easily edit 4K videos. Of course, I did not lay extra effects, transitions, and you know, complex workflows, which I know it may not be able to handle. But if you want to edit and create simple videos, you know, like cut, copy, paste, you want to use transitions, which are very simple, basic color correction, uh, scaling and cropping, all of that you can do even with 4K videos on this laptop without any issues. And I'm not exaggerating. And if you want to use Lightroom or Photoshop too, it sails right through without any performance hiccups. But if you're working with hundreds of layers on Photoshop or Illustrator, you know, large images and big smart objects, you're probably better off in getting the ZenBook Pro Duo that comes with a faster processor and a graphics card, and it's got more RAM. So that would just handle complex workflows with you know, hundreds of layers working together much more easily than the ZenBook Duo can. But no matter how business intensive apps you throw on this, open multiple tabs and entertainment apps all at once, this will sail through all of that. Also, even if you have multiple things going on, the laptop does not heat up. It's got vents all around to ensure that you don't feel the heat when you're touching the laptop. You know, the materials don't get hot. It's very well ventilated. And now let's talk about battery. And without even testing anything, just by looking at that Intel Evo tag, I can tell you that this is a very battery efficient laptop. So it has a 70 watt hour battery capacity and that takes roughly two hours to charge from a zero to 100%. Starting with 100% and keeping 50% brightness through the day, I was able to squeeze out roughly eight hours of nonstop work without any need to charge. Now, I did not perform any video editing during that time, but I was using it constantly for researching, browsing the internet with multiple Chrome tabs open. I was listening to music in the background and I had Slack open throughout. And I did watch a couple of YouTube videos as well as two Netflix shows. And yes, I did have about eight hours of experience nonstop with the laptop. 
Also, this is easily a very good laptop for entertainment. It's got a large screen, full HD resolution, slim bezels. It's got 100% sRGB color gamut, 400 nits of peak brightness and amazing speakers. This is more than just ideal for watching or streaming videos or listening to music. Now, the ZenBook Duo has an LCD display, whereas the ZenBook Pro Duo has the OLED display, which is 4K and it's got HDR and it's got a wider color gamut as well. So. I can only imagine how good that would be. Now, I will be getting the Pro Duo pretty soon. I'll be talking about it on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell notification icon so you'll get to know when I put that video out. Now, guys, one thing that I must talk about is the sound output, the audio quality, the volume, the richness that comes from this laptop. I always thought MacBooks were one of the best when it came to, you know, entertainment and sound output. But this one is equivalent. I mean, I've not seen any Windows laptop just have such good sound coming out of it. So if you're looking for something that has really good audio in terms of laptop, this is it. I mean, I haven't seen anything better than this. So it may not be as good as iPad Pro for sure, but even for a laptop, I think this is phenomenal. Now guys, there's a lot going on with the laptop, right? But even then, it's got a very regular footprint in terms of size, and it's got a pretty acceptable weight of just 1.6 kgs. But that did not happen without making certain compromises. And starting with the keyboard, which is more compact than what you would be used to. Again, it's just something that you will need to get used to, but typing is a pleasure. Uh, the tactility on the keyboard, the sound of the key press, all very satisfying. And hey, worst case, if you do feel very tired and fatigued, it's nothing that you can't solve with an additional Bluetooth keyboard. And just one other thing, because the keyboard is at the bottom edge of the laptop, you're gonna need some distance to be able to rest your wrist so that you can just type more comfortably. Although opening the laptop does tilt the keyboard by a bit and you do get a laptop stand in the box that allows for more tilting and that makes it a bit better from a typing comfort standpoint. The trackpad for you know the mouse is also something to keep in mind. The width is small and typically you would have used wider trackpads in the past. And you may also not find it very comfortable on your lap. The hinge that gives it that lift you need is also what makes it a little uncomfortable on your lap. So just bear that in mind. All right, let's conclude this video now. The ZenBook Duo is a no brainer if you're looking for an all round laptop. It's got great performance, bright, beautiful display. You get amazing speakers and you get that screen pad that just takes your productivity to a whole another level. Only if you know how to use it right. And really, the experience that you get is so unique. It's so, it's unparalleled. You're not gonna get this on any other laptop. But if you're planning to run very intense applications, like let's say you're a creator like me, so video editing, professionally is something very important to you, right? You have very intense, complex illustration work, 3D work, you get anything that requires too much computation. Graphically also, I would recommend that you get, or think about getting the ZenBook Pro Duo not only does it have a faster processor, you get a better graphic card, you get more RAM, and it's got a 4K OLED HDR display. And I think the screen size is also slightly larger, it's 15 inches. That gives you more real estate to work with. I'll be talking about that laptop very soon, so make sure you're subscribed, you hit that bell notification icon and select all, so you do get to know when I put that video out. Anyway, I hope this video was really helpful, guys. And if it was, make sure you hit that thumbs up icon. All right, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.